Today I'm at Hotside, near Linup Spout, and I'm with my daughter. And today we're going to try and get up that hill there, which is Dunmore Hill, which is another Dewey of Northumberland. It's about a four and a half mile hike there and back with my daughter. Uh, we could have gone up to Hedgehope Hill as well, uh, which would have made it an eight mile hike, but I think that's a bit too much for my daughter. And somebody slept in this morning. Yeah, me. <laughs> so uh, we're, we're running late. So can't guarantee we'll get to the top, but we'll give it a good shot. It's freezing cold though, <laughs> really, really cold. I'm surprised there isn't a frost. It was trying to snow before, but uh, hopefully it'll be all right. That's the hill we're going up, the summit shrouded in cloud. Starting to wonder if we've come the right way. I'm, I'm following the Harvey map, which takes us along this way and then up that way. And you go quite, you follow the wall up, there's a path that way. Now the OS map takes you on a path this way, over the top. Now it looks a gentler slope than this one. You'll not see it properly on the camera, but that's really steep over there. So, uh, I'm starting to think that maybe we've gone the wrong way. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll follow the Harvey map because that's what I've got. And we'll follow the wall up. It's going to be steep, it's going to be hard. But we'll give it a go. Well, we're getting closer to the hill now, just behind me. You can see how rocky and craggy it is, and how steep it is. It's, uh, I'm going to try and skirt around these crags to the top. But uh, it's going to be a steep one, definitely. It's going to be challenging for my daughter, in any case, put it that way. Should be okay for me. It's not that high, to be honest. Lovely views. It's blue skies in the Tyne Valley. Don't know what happened here. Okay, we're on the hill properly now, and we're going to follow this fence all the way up to the top. There's a bit of a farm track that goes here, so we'll, we'll make use of that, but we'll keep the fence on the right hand side. Ah, it's quite steep. I haven't climbed very far, but we've already got good views. There's a little bit of uh, moisture in the air. Hopefully that'll stay off, or I'll have to put the camera in its box. It's starting to drizzle on a little bit, we're afraid, so I'm going to have to put the camera in its box. So this might be the last time I talk until we get back down. So the rest will be the music. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's Dunmore Hill everybody, it took us about three hours to get to the summit, the top of the hill was a bit windy and wet, uh, it was sleet, a little bit of snow, uh, 
literally about 20 meters from the summit uh, my daughter broke down in tears and didn't want to go any further so I managed to persuade her just to do the last 20 meters just to bag the summit and she was really happy that she did it and she was happy all the way back down so she no more tears uh, and as we were coming down we spied a wild camper on the top um, unfortunately the gamekeeper had collared him but I'm really unsure why a wild camper would be up there at one o'clock in the afternoon I mean it seems a bit of a silly time to try and do a, a sneaky wild camp so no wonder he got caught by the gamekeeper but the gamekeeper shifted him I saw him having to take down the tent so uh, that was about it there's another Dewey bagged and I'll see you on the next one